Uh, okay, I'm alive. <laughs> hey, it's Tiffany with Mellow Vibes. And I just wanted to come on here. We'll see. I was going to say quick. I don't know how, how quick it will be. We'll see. But because um, I've, I've been thinking about this for a while, um, just observing um, about different um, different kinds of coaches. And there's a like personal development coach like I am uh, more so leaning towards um, I mean yeah it's what I focus on is like you and um, there are like business coaches and what I've noticed is uh, from personal experience in this industry is like business coaches get more clients than personal coaches and I thought that was really interesting um, like I know like the society we live in focuses on just like more and more and more and money, money, money. And so if you have a coach, it's like, I'm going to get you out of your nine to five and you'll make $10,000 a week and all that stuff. Um, it's like, you want to go to that. And I just want to clarify, I mean, business coaches are good, definitely. Um, but if you are between a business coach and a personal development coach, you should go with the personal development coach. Um, or if you think you don't need um, a, a personal coach, uh, you do. <laughs> so <laughs> before doing um, business, and I just want to talk about from my personal experience. Um, like I've been in personal development since I was 12 or 13, um, but it's an ongoing journey, and there was still a lot that I needed to do. I had gone through all the basic things, trauma and all that stuff, but there was a lot of still um, stubbornly embedded things in my subconscious, um, which I was able to work through um, while doing, uh, while studying my hypnotherapy and um, coaching, like I was able to work through my own stuff that was still sitting there as like the last little bits that I needed to go. <laughs> and, um, but prior to that, I had I did have business coaches. I'm going to tell you the difference between having a business coach when you haven't done the work and having a business coach when you have. So I had two business coaches um, at the same time. Well, I had one first and then I had, I was in two business uh, programs, group programs, and one was a year and one was four months. And at the, some point they overlap um, for four months. <laughs> they overlapped. And um, one, I would say, I mean, everything is helpful in its own way, but I was just focused on like, you know, how can I have this business make money? And when I say this business, I don't even mean the one that I currently have because, um, it changed. It totally changed. I, I didn't have the same business, um, that I have now <laughs> when I was in these business programs and it's kind of the point. So, um... I was in one for a year, like I said, which was, uh, it was, it was an, actually, that, this one was kind of a good blend because it did have focus on some personal things, um, and the business as well. And then the second one was just totally business. Like I, it was a lot, like I was working on my business. I was working a full-time at a startup which is startups are a lot of work so it's like my business is a startup I'm working at a startup <laughs> it was a lot and I was in two programs that I had homework for um, and I was literally just focused on getting things done um, I wasn't working on myself like I normally would have been because um, like I said I've been working on myself for over 20 years um, so I wasn't working on myself like I like I would have been because I was just like I have to get this done I have to get this done I have this homework I have to do this quiz I have coaching calls with this person on this day and all this stuff so um when I was having little breakthroughs like the one I said was kind of a blend of personal and business like doing like EFT sessions with the coach and all that stuff when I was having a personal breakthrough um it was great but I couldn't really focus on that because I was just like I still have to get this stuff done I still have to have them look at my site and look at whatever. Um, and the point is, I switched my business somewhere within the last few months of both the programs, because like I said, it was in two at the same time. Um, I kind of switched focus, 
still not the, still not the business that I have right now, <laughs> but a little bit closer. So I kind of switched focus, and then, um, well, after that, I switched focus again, because uh, really it was getting to. I want to. I don't want to say I switched focus because it was kind of what I was getting at the whole time, but I just really couldn't put my finger on how I was putting it all together, and um, and now it's the way that I really wanted it to be from the beginning, but I just couldn't even get to that point with my mind where it made sense. Um, it's like when you got something at the tip of your tongue, but, it can't, but you don't really have the word, and that's like what it was for me, but had I actually seen a personal development coach, um, that would have been a point <laughs> where I would have been like, oh yeah, and I and it wouldn't have taken me like literally thousands of dollars for business programs where um, this, this wasn't even the business I was working on and where I actually didn't make any money. And that's another thing we'll talk about because, you know, uh, business coaches will talk about and, you know, they'll highlight the people that have made money, but it's like um, nine times out of ten, those people have actually done the personal development work. So if you haven't focused on that first, and like I said, I hadn't really fully worked through all of my stuff um, for which I could have a successful business, um, then you're just really missing, you're missing a key step. I've seen several, several people who have had business coaches and been in business coaching programs who haven't made anything. And um, I was one of those people because I hadn't done all the personal work that I had to uh, get through. There was things that I was really pushing off and blocking. And I was just like, no, I'm just going to focus on this because I think this is what's going to make me money. And when you're going for the money, it's just not going to work. <laughs> you have to go for like what is your purpose what is it that you love um what is the um you know what is the true goal and my true goal was really always helping people but i was still more focused on the success the su success part the money part and that's where there's the the disconnect really that's where you have people um not you know doing all these things paying thousands and thousands of dollars for coaches and not making anything not being successful not being fulfilled and the thing is um from personal experience and from the fact that i do coach people and i do um you know hypnotherapy sessions with people once i was able to work with those people who had who i would say were like me they were like kind of in their business or kind of trying to pin down what they were doing but they didn't have it all there yet um once so I like worked with them and and they worked on their you know their personal stuff the things that were hold, holding them back they were able to have successful businesses it's like you have to have the personal stuff figured out first before you get into the business part like it's not gonna work otherwise and nine times out of ten I'll say um so once I actually did do the work and I had finally reached my light bulb moment of I'm not pushing certain things away anymore, I'm going to step into fully who I am and I'm going to really dive deep into hypnotherapy and get back to that, which is like if you watch any of my other videos, or not any of my other videos, but a lot of my videos I'll talk about how I started hypnother hypnotherapy, hypnosis when I was like 12. Um, but once I decided I was really going to like practice that and I worked through all my stuff through practicing that, um, I got a business coach again, but for a couple months, it wasn't like some whole drawn out thing. Um, and it wasn't like I had to do homework, all this stuff. It was just like really getting coaching um, uh, and having someone, you know, bounce ideas off of and stuff. It worked. It, it was so much more in alignment because I knew what I was doing uh, for me and what I was wanted to accomplish and um, I was being super authentic and so when I had the clarity and I got a business coach um, I started making money because <laughs> I had done the personal work first I started making money everything started falling into place everything started making sense in my mind um, once I actually did the work so if there's ever a question on business coach or you know a self-love coach or a personal development coach or like you know anything that's working with just you and not like focus on your business take the take the you like first 
because that's always going to be the first step. Um, like, like I said, as much as I had done work on myself throughout the years, I still hadn't gotten the last bit of the breakthrough that I needed. And then when I did, then I was able to actually build my business and build a business that I love and actually start to make money. Like I said, I went through two coaching programs in a year with homework and all this stuff and blah, blah, blah. Didn't make a dime. And I spent well over $10,000 on, um, oh my gosh, have I said it before? <laughs> but yeah, I spent well over $10,000 on these programs. And I got, you know, whatever, little bits of um, things from, from there. But honestly, I don't even really use much of what I had to learn and you know different strategies on how you should do your business like none of them even aligned up to who I am like personality wise so I really don't even use what was given uh, for the most part um, there's only maybe one or two things from each program that I've um, just incorporated personally and just uh, strategically when I try to organize things but a lot of it didn't match up to who I am. That's why you can't just really take this loud thing. <laughs> um, okay, unnecessary. Um, that's why you just can't like take what people give you and it's like, oh, I did it this way, so you have to do it this way. It's like, no, we're all different. And a lot of the stuff that was given to me, like I had to force myself to do. Um, I mean, like, this would have been one of them. Like, I never would have wanted to go live, and I definitely never wanted to go live without makeup. I have makeup on today. But, um, but, so, I mean, that part of it was good, because I was, like, literally forced. Like, no, you have to go live, like, a few times a week. <laughs> that was, like, part of the homework. And then I would, uh, I would never go on live without makeup, but, um, now it's something I do regularly, and I'm just, like, I don't care. Um, but that's, that was after that. That's because I had to, like really do extra work on myself and get super comfortable and just be like F it, like why do I care? Um, because this is how I walk around normally. Why do I put on makeup just to go on the camera? <laughs> so um so anyway. Uh yeah, that's kind of just what I've seen. Like I said, the point is I've seen definitely business coaches get more uh clients than, you know, personal development coaches and I think it's pretty backwards and it really shows where um the people put their attention how making money is more important than being a healthy version of yourself being an authentic version of yourself and it's not how it should be because when you have the healthy authentic true version of yourself then you can make money and then you can make money easier um then you can have a business that is in full alignment with who you are so, again, if that's ever a question, go to the personal development. This is not like some whatever uh, ad or promotion to come to me, although that would be great <laughs> if you think that I um, am somebody that you would want to work with. Or even if you didn't want to have direct sessions, like I have um, like digital, uh, digital projects that you can work on that are going to help you like if I had um the deep dive project the deep dive bundle which is which is my 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 product which is made up of a couple different things that I used to sell separately they're now just together in the deep dive bundle so if I had like the purpose passion project like years ago a few years ago before I started these uh coaching programs um and I had actually gone through that and gotten clarity on, yeah, this is my purpose and this is actually what I want to do because it's super specific about that and like you will get super clarity on what it is that um, you want to be and should be doing with your life. If I had done that first and then gone to the coaching programs, then that would have been worth it. <laughs> you know? Um, I would have, I would have had more success. I wouldn't have wasted my time. I can't even think about how the money, the amount of money that I wasted on like uh, hiring people to do certain things for me that are just like no longer valid. They're no longer on my site because it just wasn't even what I needed to begin with. Um, 
yeah, major major money could have been saved could have been saved had I actually focused on the important stuff first, which is not the business. And um, especially when you have, I've seen, I've been in a coaching program where they're like, you know, as long as you want to start a business, even if you don't have, um, even if you don't have an idea of the business that you want to start, then it's fine. You'll work through it while you're in this program. And it's like. No, like <laughs> that's wasting your money and wasting your time. Like I wasted mad time um, being in coaching programs and um, and thinking that I knew what I wanted to do and uh, totally switching up. So yeah, don't ever go into a business coaching program not actually having a business idea. Please <laughs> get some clarity on what is it you want to do. And if you want that clarity, get the deep dive bundle on mellowbuds.com because you will be clear on what it is that you could be working on. Um, it should never be some kind of guessing game when your money is involved and when there's thousands and thousands of dollars involved because that's how much coaching programs cost. So... Um, yeah, I would advise always working on yourself first. When you work on yourself, uh, you'll have better results in your relationships and business. You know, with yourself, like, you know, just spending, being able to spend time with yourself. Honestly, there are so many people that um, could have benefited from a personal development coach, uh, you know, before COVID hit because there's a lot of people who have had to spend time with themselves and they do not want to. Um, but like for me, I love it. I love spending time by myself. I am my best friend, as it should be. So, yeah, that's just something that's been in my mind for a while. And I was just like, let me, you know, finally talk about it. Um, because there are so many amazing coaches out there um, that really help you uh, with developing who you are, with speaking your truth and everything and I just don't see them getting as much shine as business coaches because of really the society the capitalist society that we live in where it's really always focused on money um, but again you will have the money when you work on yourself <laughs> it will come and like I said I have had sessions with people I have coached people and gone through some personal deep stuff with them and then it was enough for them to finally move forward and um, and put themselves out there with their business and have more success in their business so and again for me too like I said there was the difference of the the two programs I took before actually finishing the work that I needed to on myself and it was the, the coaching that I had after that and vastly, vastly different, completely. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all I want to say. As always, let me know your thoughts and let me know um, your experience if you've had um, just a personal coach or a business coach in like what that was like for you, if you feel like you should have done one over the other, you know, whatever. Let me know. Um, this will be on IGTV, and I guess I'll have to think of a title. <laughs> so, yeah. Alright. Peace. Mellow vibes, as always. <laughs>